Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the sort list problem. Sort a linked list in big O and log n time using constant space complexity. Example 1, the input is this linked list, and the output is the same linked list, now in sorted order. Example 2, we have this linked list as input, and the output is the linked list sorted in ascending order. So how can we solve this problem? Well, in this problem, we have to find an algorithm that gives us big O of n log n complexity, big O n log n time complexity. So we can think of merge sort. Merge sort is an, is an algorithm that is stable, and it also gives us big O n log n time complexity. If we are working with arrays, merge sort requires additional space for the merge process. When we try to merge two arrays, if we want to do that in linear time, then we also need to have linear space. But here, we're working with a linked list. And because of the nature of the linked list, we are able to merge two linked lists in linear time using constant space. So here, we can use merge sort to achieve big O n log n time complexity and constant space complexity. We will need some additional space. To be more specific, we will need big O log n space complexity for the function call stack, because we will, we're going to implement this algorithm recursively. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, if head equals equals null, or head that next equals equals null, then I'm going to return head. So if my list is empty, or if there's only one node in my linked list, then this is the base case. Because an empty list, is uh, there's no need to sort an empty list. And also there's no need to sort a list that only has one node. So in that case, I just return that then I will have to have a few references. So first I need a pointer to note pre-slow. This one will be always behind slow by one. Get the value of null. Slow is gonna point to the head and fast will also point to the head initially. Then what I want to do is that I want to use this pointer, the, the slow and fast pointer to find the middle point in my linked list and then I can divide those two lists um, in, I can divide the list in two parts every recursive call so this is merge sort we use a divide and conquer approach so the divide and conquer approach consists in that we're going to divide the list in half every time every recursive call so by using the slow and fast pointer technique I can find the middle point in my linked list and every recursive call, I can divide them and continue my recursive calls. So now, to find the middle point, I will advance slow one step at a time and fast two steps at a time. So while fast is not equal to null and fast that next is not equal to null, remember, we do this to handle both cases, the odd case and the even case. So always pre-slow is going to be behind slow by one, so I have to update my pre-slow pointer. So pre-slow gets the value of slow. Slow gets the value of slow that next. And fast gets the value of fast that next that next. So now, by the end of the iteration, I will have that slow will be at the middle point in the list. So I can separate it by using my pre-slow pointer and setting the next to be null. And that will separate the list into two parts. The first part with head slow with head head and the second part with head slow. So I can say pre slow that next points to null. And that will break the link from the first part from the from the end of the first part to the second part. And then I can just use recursion. 
and I will have a helper method to merge the two lists. And I will write a, I will write a helper method below. So I will say return merge two lists, and then I'm gonna call my method recursively for the for merge sort. So sort list passing the head. That's gonna be the first part, and also sort list passing slow, and that's gonna be for the for the beginning of the second part. So I have my merge to list helper method that I'm gonna write below, and it takes two arguments or two linked lists. So first I will pass the first linked list and then the second one to merge and I'm calling the same method recursively uh, because merge sort requires recursion in this case that way we can divide and conquer we divide using recursion and then um, later we merge those two lists so now I can write my method below I can say private um, returns a pointer to node, merge to list, and then takes a pointer to node, L1, and pointer to node, L2. And I'm going to use the domino technique here to simplify the code. So I will have a pointer to node, dummy, gets the value of new node, with value minus 1. And a pointer to node, Cur points to what dummy is pointing to. So cur will be my pointer um, to build uh, the final result. So I will be traversing and check comparing the value in L1 with the value in L2 every iteration. So I will say while L1 is not equal to null and L2 is not equal to null, as long as I have more, more nodes to consider in either list, I will continue merging. So I will say if L1 that value is less than L2 that value, I will say cur that next points to what L1 is pointing to, and L1 has a value of L1 that next. So just connect um, this node to the result uh, to be the next node and advance the L1 pointer in the first list to point to the next node because I want to sort in ascending order so I want to choose the, the node that has the smaller value to be the next node every iteration that way I will achieve my ascending order from smallest to largest then otherwise that means that L2 that value was less than L1 that value it was less than or equal to L1 that value so this is going to be the next node so curve that next points to what L2 is pointing to and L2 gets a value of L2 that next and then um, don't forget that you have to advance cur every time so cur gets a value of cur that next because when you connect a new node at the end you want to make sure that you update cur so that cur always points to the tail of the result list and then after this iteration is done um, there could be a there could be um, the case the case that maybe there are more nodes in one of the lists so I have to check and connect the rest of the list if there are more nodes so I can say cur that next gets a value of L1 is not equal to null if L1 is not equal to null I want to connect all the nodes that are left in L1 to the remaining of the result so I will say L1 otherwise there are some nodes in L2 maybe, so I want to connect to L2. And finally, I just return dummy that next. Dummy that next points to the beginning of the result list. So I'm going to run the code. All right. So now I'm going to submit my solution. This is working perfectly. So you can see that we have implemented merge sort, a divide and conquer algorithm that gives us big O and log N 
time complexity. And we are using constant space because for a linked list, there's no need to use additional space for the merge step. You can see that we can merge without, without using additional space. If we were working with arrays, then we would need additional space to merge the arrays. In a linked list, that's not the case. However, we're using um, some space, com some space, big O log n space for the stack, uh, the function call stack, because we're using recursion. But we are meeting the criteria because in this case, we're not using additional space um, for the merge step. So time complexity, big O n log n, where n is the number of nodes in the list. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.